Welcome to this video tutorial series on level blueprints in Unreal Engine 4. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be recreating this flashing sparking light that you can see here. Firstly, I'll take you through doing this in the level blueprint, explain how level blueprints work a little bit, and then we'll explore creating this as a standalone reusable blueprint. I'm using standard assets that come with the Unreal Engine 4 release, but feel free to use your own assets for this. For the start of this tutorial, I'm going to start off just in an empty map to demonstrate a few things about the level blueprint. Now the level blueprint is a specialised kind of blueprint that's only used in the current map, rather than being an asset that can be reused across maps. If you're coming from Unreal Engine 3, the level blueprint serves the same functionality as Kismet did. It's specific to the map that it's contained in. The level blueprint's opened up through this blueprints, open level blueprint button up on the toolbar here. If you're unfamiliar with blueprint yet, I recommend checking out some intro blueprint tutorials before you have a look at this. This works pretty much the same as the normal blueprint. We add actions and events through the right click context menu. Now the main thing to remember with the level blueprint is to keep anything level specific inside of it. Blueprints are very powerful and anything that can be reused probably should be contained inside of its own blueprint and reused across maps. Now in this short series I'm going to demonstrate a few different things about blueprints. I'm going to show you exactly how to use the begin play event and how to use the sequence node to be able to fire actions in order. Then I'm going to demonstrate the use of a trigger. Then I'll be demonstrating how to bind events to particular objects. That is, for instance, be able to take a, a catch a take damage event on the player. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the timeline feature in Blueprint, and we're going to use that to animate that flashing light that you saw at the start of the video. I'm going to start off by giving you a quick demonstration of Begin Play. We add this by right-clicking on the canvas, and we'll type in Begin Play, and we get this Event Begin Play. Now we're going to use this to actually make the player take some damage. We'll right click and do a search for Pawn and we can use Get Player Pawn right here. We'll also grab and apply Damage and we're going to set the base damage to be 30. Now we'll connect up the Begin Play to the Apply Damage node. Make sure we compile the blueprint and then back in our map when we actually hit on Play you can see the player has started off taking some damage. I hold this quite low down here. One of the things I want to point out is that you can only have a single kind of each event inside a blueprint, which means that in, uh, if you wanted to have multiple things happen on begin play, you can only use one begin play node. There's a way that we can actually ha uh, make events occur in order out of a single node, and that's called a sequence node. And we type sequence, then we get this then zero, then one, etc., etc. And we can actually connect this up like so to make this the very first thing that occurs and off this pin we can drag a second event. You can click add pin to continually add as many different events coming out of this sequence as you want. Now that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. 